Hi, I'm Lydia Chapin. Hi, my name is Annabelle Payne. Hi, I'm Molly Connor in Ms. Ferguson's uh, class in the Ag STEM program here at Archer High School. So the system, aquaponic system upstairs, it has tilapia in it, and the fish, um, when they poop their ammonia, it goes through some pipes, which starts to filter it, filter it out, and then it goes into the bio ball system. The bio balls are, I'm gonna say they look a little different than you'd expect them to. They look like little honeycombs so that the water can flow through them and it can filter better. The ammonia from the feces is cycled out and, and then turned into nitrates and then into the plants as fertilizer. There's a pump that pushes the water through the system, meaning it goes through the fish tank, up to the bio balls, up to the plants where it really needs to go. So the pump pushes it through all that and it's a constant moving system. When we visit the small aquaponic system, we measure ammonium levels, nitrate levels, nitrite levels, temperature, and the pH balance. And based off those measurements, we determine what to do next. For example, we would feed them less or take away water or fat water. So in the future, Archer High School is planning to build an aquaponic system outside of the school. It's going to be a very large system with lots of fish and more bio balls and more plants to help our school help the environment. And it does this by repeating the same process that the smaller aquaponic system we have here at AHS does. It is just on a larger scale and will help produce more plants in a more eco-friendly manner. Aquaponics have taught me a lot to understand more the nitrate cycle or the nitrogen cycles and all the cycles used to really just keep plants growing and life going. I have learned a tremendous amount about the nitrogen cycle and how it works and how it impacts the environment. When fish and other animals, when they release their feces, when they poop, they release ammonia and that is something that is part of the nitrogen cycle. And within the nitrogen cycle, if there's too much nitrogen in the air, that can be, in, in the environment in general, that can be very bad for us humans to breathe in and constantly have. So by using the nitrogen and ammonia produced from the fish and using it to help plants grow, it just recycles everything and makes our environment better for us and for all of the um, plants and animals in nature. Through this class, um, I have learned ways that we have negatively affected the environment and how we can change our processes in the future to better help the environment.